As the 25 days of Christmas is in full effect, we've enjoyed some amazing early season conditions here in Utah. With some resorts already getting over 10 feet of snow, we recently enjoyed a mega 13 inch pow day at Snowbird. In this episode, we head up Provo Canyon for another opening day of the season. Good morning. How you doing? Are you skiing today? I am. And then one of those lots is going to be 22, and then there's two smaller ones that will be five. Okay. Um, and do you have, I'm guessing you don't have four people in your car? No? Nope, okay. just me. Yep, you're all good then. Come Come good morning, guys. Welcome back to another episode of season three. Came out to a resort called Sundance. I've never been here before in the winter and it is their opening day. They had their opening day moved up because of all the recent snowfall. Not only did I have to pay for a lift ticket, which was not cheap, it seems like all the parking, there's like, th there's no option other than to pay basically. And all like the cheaper lots are full. So I got to pay like 20 something bucks to park. So it is quite the expensive ski day for an opening day, but you know what? I do it for you guys to kind of show you what's going on here. Try to bring the uphill heel over. Okay, so just think of it that way to just kind of you're still going to have all that 80 to 90 percent on the downhill ski but just tuck the uphill heel over a little bit it'll take that a-frame a little bit out of the uh, you know out of the turn which is what looks was why they chirp you on the video they do the same with me i've been so focused on the filming for the past four years that i stopped thinking about my skiing as much and yesterday i, I tried to think about my skiing a bit more be more conscious about it but late the past few years i've just been it's always about where the camera is and yeah, i just no, for sure i, I get it totally it's papa joe giving me some uh world cup olympian mogul advice at my turns which i need because the internet loves to uh, have a field day with me often so I got sent this blanket in the mail and I want to share it with you guys. Disclaimer, like I did not pay for this. However, there was no obligation for me to talk about it or anything like that. And I think it's relevant to the channel. This is a map of Snowbird on this like extremely fuzzy and just beautifully put together blanket. And the map is so incredibly detailed. It has stuff that even like the trail map of of snowbird doesn't have on him you have like rat's nest entry to great scott here you have shot 16 and 17 you know organ grinder i mean really infamous types of shoots here and a really beautiful piece of work and something that i will just leave up here on the van as kind of a blanket so this could be like a really great holiday gift with christmas coming up they have a bunch of different options i think i saw breckenridge vale keystone park city so Go to powderaddicts.com if you want to check it out and see what they have. Thank you, Powder Addicts, for sending this to me. I'm going to wrap myself up in this after a nice long day of skiing. Today, I will be using the uh, 106s. I've really not used these yet. I use these for like one lap. I briefly talked about these, but these are 180 centimeter in length. I have the Armada STH bindings on these, and I mounted a little bit more forward. I'm not at the freestyle point. I'm not at factory. Um, so it's kind of a whole different setup than what I'm used to with the JJ. sick pow days in a row it's kind of nice to have like a rest reset ski day trying out the 106s and being here in beautiful sundance is that where we are are we in sundance or are we just at sundance i have no idea what's your name dude my name's kaden kaden that's right can i get a picture yeah dude for sure uh, let's do it gotcha. dude that's sick. sick i never thought you'd come here the plan is there is no plan so what's up man thanks man what's your name Grant, nice to meet you. Uh, outlaw Trail, Outlaw. Tra I want Outlaw, but I don't know. This is kind of cool. Where do I go from here? This way. I believe that's a lift I want. 
Oh, there's a train park. We should try some switch skiing with these because I'm so much better mounted on these. Now we can get like an actual top to bottom. Where's the singles line? Is this it? <laughs> So I believe this is the highest point we can go for today. They're not getting a lot of sleep last night, so I'm running purely off stoke, which means I'll also probably crash off the stoke later today, but that's kind of the way it's been going lately. So I think we got a nice little cat track as you look up at the uh, clouded Timpanogos. Very warm though, a lot warmer than yesterday. Homies everywhere, so we gotta be extra careful. I'm going like, take slow and then double it. Go slower than slow. Still up way through here. This is like a crazy congestion area. My forearm is so sore from holding this the past few days. Hey, are you Lucas? I am, man, yeah. I watch your videos all the time. Cool, dude, what's your name? Bodie. Bodie, nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you too. Some actual snow here on these 106s. A lot different feeling for sure. Oh, it's really creamy. It feels heavy. It's almost like it's wet. That's pretty fun. We do have some corduroy. It is a rule, whenever this quarter ride, you must ski it. Homie on the right. That was a homie with a little homie inside of him. That was rad. There's homies everywhere. I, I will back out of that one all day. <laughs> Oh my God, just leave me alone. Okay, all right, we survived. This is a very interesting day. What up guys? What's your name? Maddox. Maddox? Yeah. Nice to meet you, man. I'm Oliver. Oliver? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, dude. My name's Joseph. Joseph? Yeah. Those are dope skis, dude. Thanks. So we've done about two laps so far, and it is, for an opening day, I dig it. However, it is quite congested. But, as I was going into the lift line, board progression, Dan Reese kind of linked up, just sort of on happenstance uh, yeah. in the lift line. So, we out here. We man. out here. What's Same up? Enough, dude. So stoked to be here, guys. Sundance opening day. <laughs> I mean, couldn't be better. What, what more can I know we got some boarders on here. Dan, Board progression does a lot of Utah stuff, um, so definitely check him out. I'll put him in the description, all the good stuff. Show some love up to Dan, and I think we're gonna try to do a lap. Yeah. And it uh, should be a lot of fun, so. Get after it. Let's do it. <laughs> Woo! dude drive safe yeah you too good luck Absolutely. with the baby thanks man <laughs> tell arthur thanks. i said hello i'm born november 7th so oh sick <laughs> oh yeah all right dude all right man Have a later day. let's do it are we all doing it yeah okay you ready yeah yep. Woo! you stoked today or what let's go. Yeah. Woo! Let's go. Yeah. all right thanks man sure thank you so much yeah man thank That's you guys awesome.
honestly, guys, for an opening day, I had so much fun. I feel like there's something unique about the opening days where it's like, I just feel like it puts everything on an equal playing field and it just forces you to like be creative with your skiing and kind of just like, it like strips skiing down to like what it's all about. It's like, here's a pitch, here's gravity, like go have fun. It's not like you have all these crazy options and shoots. It's just like, it just seems like such like a minimalistic way to ski. And it kind of reminds me why I love skiing in the first place, if that makes sense. It's like, even though it's crowded, like even though it's one run, if for some reason it just kind of like, it's nice to have that mixed in with some of the other stuff, I guess is what I'm saying. It is by far the most impactful and memorable thing on my end to be able to thank you guys in person for just watching the videos and just saying what's up, sharing some words of like encouragement and positivity. Like it just makes everything so tangible and like, real to be able to say thank you in person it's like it's just really really awesome so all around nothing crazy today but just a really fun day up here in the mountains of utah one thing with being in the van more full time and skiing you know nearly every day is i don't work out like i used to at all i used to work out five six days a week and now I don't know, I haven't worked out in a week. So it's been a big change that I, it's one of the drawbacks for me. So since Papa Joe's in town, my sister Liv, I'm just heading to the field house here in Park City, gonna quick lift in and I think we're gonna go in the hot tub, which is gonna be really nice. So not gonna do anything crazy, but it's gonna feel good to get moving. days on snow with another opening day under our belt this was honestly one of the most fun days of the entire year so i appreciate you guys coming along for the ride and i hope you guys enjoy just another day of adventure here in utah but with all that being said guys let me know what you thought of sundance opening day and i'll see all of you guys in the next episode take it easy fam peace out